On the mountains, when you talk about Ikrapim towns, the names that come into mind is Ibri, Mampong, Ikrapong. Ikrapong is the traditional capital. Ibri is also noted for its um, botanical garden, which was built in the 18. Oh, well, well, we just came up on it quick. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, are, okay. they, are they rebuilding uh, it? Yes. Uh, this is Rita Mali's um, uh, uh, residence, studio and residence. He has a very big one also down at Jamaica, so a, town, a suburb of Ebri. Uh, you want to take a picture, we'll get that and take a pi yeah, quick yeah. picture. And then Rita Mali actually decided to come and reside in Ghana. And she was made a queen mother of one of the towns uh, in the Ikrapim area. Now, did she leave? Is she still here? Is she still residing here? Because I heard she left. Yes, but she's not back here. This was uh, burnt no, down and oh. it's been yeah. rebuilt. I can see the construction going on. It burnt down by fire and then they are reconstructing it. Yes. But she has a very big house also down the town called Jamaica. So very big. Huge house. Did and you say called Jamaica? Is it Jamaica, by Jamaica Village or? Yeah, Jamaica Village. Jamaica so simply means Jamaica Village. Yeah. And what part of the mountains is that? Uh, that is getting into the valley of Ibri and the south part of Ibri. That is where Jamaica so, so is. So that is that before or after Tutu? Is that before? No, 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 no. It's within the Brie area. Oh, perfect. So, yeah. we, would we be able to see it? Because uh, I've never seen it. Okay. Or, well, or is it out of our district? Uh, not too much from the road, though. Not too much away from the road. Yeah. We'll make a detour, but not very much away. Yeah, I don't want to take us off course. Yeah. But I do remember when all of the artwork was right here. Yeah. And I'm, it looked like some construction going on back yeah. here. And then we'll, we'll have another one. The studio is ahead of us. Are you, you're talking about the foundation? I know yes, the next building the is there. So, family, this is uh, you know, our Jamaican sister, Rita Molly Turf, right here. Our, our operation, our foundation, our connection. And it's just showing you a connection from the African diaspora of us as a people returning to the home of our ancestors, the land of our ancestors, and reconnecting for nation building, business investment, and doing positive things in the country. And while we're up in the mountains, you know, there's a whole lot of craft, shopping, fruits, all that good stuff. We have our wonderful tour members. As you can see, one of our smaller groups, but whatever it takes to make it, whether it's a small group, big group, we got you there. And then this is our celebrity. A Kuvi been to many places in the world. A worldwide no global traveler. With no money. <laughs> With no money. He must be a pimp then. Oh, you know we got to pimp something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so family, we're enjoying the journey of a lifetime and we're on our way up to Tutu. She says she traveled all over the world with no money. No money. Yes, family. We're in a brand new Toyota 2021. Nice and cool and just cruising up the mountains. Oh, the Oh, nice. Yeah, the only unfortunate thing about being in Ghana, you have so much things that you can't bring back. Uh, I go. <laughs> now, the people of this area are basically farmers. They farm all uh, uh, food crops like cassava, plantain, tomato, everything, and yam. But the stable food for the people of Ikepim is Oto. Oto, yes, Oto. Spell O T O U. Then O, Oto. Oto is mash yam. Mash yam. You, you boil the yam, then you mix it with palm oil 
or you cook it in palm nut soup and then you mix it Oto, that's the favorite of Ekwepe people Oto, or Numa and uh, Ekwepeums will call it Numa this is a yeah, yeah, to this is a senior high school a girls as it's called Ebri Girls is one of the best senior high schools in the country and if your ward gain admission into Ebri Girls then she is up there in the educational ladder So generally how much do people pay for education? Say for instance one of the... Um, um, for the education in Ghana, it's uh, from the primary to senior high, according to the government, is free. But definitely, when your kid or your ward is in the senior high, you provide certain things by tuition and everything is free. And the textbooks are free. So we have free senior high uh, education running in the country. Okay. Yeah. And then also in the junior high, and the primary, the government also provide one hot meal a day. Free hot meal a day. Okay. 